Hello everyone. Welcome to the Gate Engineering Online Learning Classes. In this lecture, we'll talk about the energy and power signals and visualization of the signal. By visualizing how do we identify the given signal is energy signal or power signal or neither energy or nor power signal. Actually, some signals are neither energy nor power signal, but we can visualize the signal. Is this energy signal or power signal? A signal is said to be an energy signal if the total energy of the signal is finite and average power is zero, then we can say that the signal is an energy signal. The signal energy of the signal can be computed by the given function minus infinite to infinite mod of xt square dt. This energy is nothing but the area of the squared value of the signal. The, for the discrete time signal, energy can be computed by summation of minus infinite to infinite mod of xn square. All the bounded signals are energy signal. Keep in mind, all the bounded signals are energy signal means when the signal has some finite value for all the intervals. For any time instant signal is bounded, we can see that signal is energy signal. Or in other terms, you can notice that if at t equal to infinite, we are getting x of t equal to 0. For t equal to infinite, if we have x t equal to 0, we can say that this is the energy signal with satisfying the bounded conditions. Now, come to the power signal. A signal is said to be a power signal if average power is finite and energy is infinite. How do we compute the power? We can compute the power with the help of this given function, which is limit t tends to infinite, 1 divided by 2t, integration of mod of x t square dt with limit minus t to t. This 2t is nothing but the integration period starting from minus t to capital T. So this will be t minus minus t is two, minus t. t minus minus t is 2t. For a discrete time signal, power can be computed by limit n tends to infinite 1 divided by 2n plus 1 summation of n equal to minus infinite to infinite summation of minus n to n mod of xn square. Here, instead of 2n, we are taking 2n plus 1 because in the discrete time signal, we have number of samples, number of samples. Let us assume this is first. This is sample number 2. This is sample number n. Okay. Similarly, in the negative side, we have a sample one, minus 1, sample minus 2, and sample minus n. Okay, and here we have zero. So total number of samples are n in the negative side, n in the positive side, and one at the zero. So total we are counting twice n plus one. If we add all the number of samples, we will have two n plus one. That's why we are dividing by two n plus one in here. All in the in the periodic signal, all the periodic signal are power signal. All the periodic signal. If we draw sine omega t, cos omega t, all the periodic signal are power signal. Tan omega t. Because in the periodic signal, value of the signal will not be infinite at any time. That will lie in the some fixed range. Just like the sine omega t is defined between plus 1 and minus 1 for any time value. Cos omega t is defined between plus 1 and minus 1 for whatever the time. So all the periodic signal are the power signal. But second point, next point is the power signal is defined for finite value and infinite duration. Finite value and infinite duration means sine omega t is defined for the infinite duration and it has finite value between plus 1 and minus 1. If I plot some constant a, a is the finite and this a is finite for infinite duration from minus infinite to infinite. This is the a and this is the time axis. Okay. If we talk about the ut. ut ut is defined for t greater than 0 for infinite duration with value is 1 so these all these signals are a power signal so how do we can visualize all the periodic signal power signal all the signal which has finite value and infinite duration are power signal if the signal has finite value with finite duration that signal is called as an energy signal if signal has finite value with finite energy, finite duration, that signal will be called as energy signal. If signal has finite value and infinite duration, that signal will be called as the power signal. 
if signal is infinite value in a finite or infinite duration we can say that the power signal will be uh, we can say that the signal will be neither energy nor power now here we have summary all the periodic signal are power signal all the bounded signal xt will be zero for t tends to infinite or signal are energy signal all the unbounded signal if xt equal to infinite or t tends to infinite signals are neither energy nor power signal if we have infinite value at uh, t tends to infinite just like that e to power at just like that a of t if you substitute t in this function you will get infinite value so all these signals are example of neither energy nor power signal now now we'll now we will visualize some signals we will have to check if this signal is power energy or neither energy nor power signal here you can see that this signal is continuously growing till infinite if we check at t equal to infinite we will get function value will be infinite because this function is nothing but t this function xt is nothing but t so this signal is neither energy nor power signal so this signal is neither energy nor power signal because at t equal to infinite we will get this value is also infinite okay now come to the second point a uh, second graph here we can see that this graph is plotted as e to the power minus at e to the power minus at at t tends to infinite if you substitute t equal to 0 t equal to infinite you will get zero here at t tends to infinite we have zero value at t equal to 0 we have one value so this graph is plotted between the 1 and 0 so finite value at finite time duration that means at t equal to infinite we are getting zero so we can consider it as finite time duration so this signal is defined for finite duration so finite value and finite time duration so this signal is an energy signal now come to the third signal this is the periodic signal it has finite value plus one and minus one and this signal is defined for infinite duration so infinite duration finite value periodic signal or power signal we can visualize any signal is energy signal or power signal now come to the third signal here this signal is moving towards the infinite but it has constant value one amplitude is finite but time duration is infinite so if you if you look on that property of the energy or power signal energy signal is defined for finite value and finite time duration and power signal is defined for finite value and infinite duration so this signal is defined for infinite duration so it is a power signal it is a power signal now come to the fifth signal this is moving towards the infinite as we can see this is moving towards the infinite if you increase the infinite it is going beyond the limit it will be infinite after t tends to infinite t tends to infinite so this signal is at t tends to infinite xt is infinite so this is the unbounded signal so signal is neither energy nor power signal now come to the next this signal is defined between 2 to 6 2 to 6 this is not uh, this is the not an un unbounded signal this is the bounded signal this is not a periodic signal if this is not uh, if this is not an unbounded signal so we can't we can say that this is neither energy nor power this is not a periodic so this is not a power signal even this signal is defined for finite value with finite time duration so this signal is bounded and this signal is defined for finite value with finite time duration so this is a this is an energy signal thank you for watching this video